Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This love reading will be all about the energies between you and the person that you are thinking about or connecting with or will be connecting with in the near future. What do you need to know about what's going on and how do you feel about each other? Keep in mind that these readings are general. They're for the Aquarius Collective. So not every uh, detail of this reading will resonate. Uh, take what resonates for you, what applies to you and your situation. And let's jump right in for Aquarius. Spirit, angels, guys. The person that Aquarius is thinking about, connecting with, or will be connecting with in the near future. What do we need to know about the energies between Aquarius? Okay. I'm just going to look at that. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to cut the deck, so I'm putting this back, but I was just curious. What do we need to know about the energies between Aquarius and this other person? All right, let's see what we get for you. Overall energy between you, we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy there. The Ten of Swords, okay? On your end, we have Judgment with the Six of Wands. On their end, we have the Ace of Swords. So definitely something here with communication with the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords. And Strength, Leo energy. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, we have the World. Wow. Ten of Swords in the world. So there's definitely a, a cycle ending, some sort of change happening here. Chapters closing so that a new chapter can begin. Let's see. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the energies between Aquarius? And this other individual spirit. What do we need to know? Need to know about the energy between Aquarius and this other person. True love. Love union coming together. The connection between you is genuine and true. Great start. <laughs> what do we need to know about this connection between Aquarius and this other person? Parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. There is a disconnect between you. So maybe there was a separation already that took place. Maybe that's why the Ten of Swords is here. Despite the fact that there was a lot of love in this connection, um, despite the fact that there was a special union. Wedding bells at the bottom of the deck, marriage, commitment, union. Wedding bells are ringing. A wedding, marriage could be uh, relevant here. Maybe you were married to this person on the path to marriage or one of you is already married. What else? What else do we need to know for Air, uh, Aquarius? I want to say Aries there for a second. What else do we need to know about this connection between Aquarius and this other person? Bad health. So I feel like you were affected by this separation, you or this person or both of you. Not doing so well. Something happened here. Bottom of the deck is thoughts. So I feel like at least one of you is still thinking about what happened. Torn up, maybe. Heartbroken. Affected by what took place here. Or, ooh, oh my gosh, that was so close. I thought that my camera was just going to fly out of the tripod. That would not be good. Because <laughs> this seems like it's a really good reading. All right, Aquarius, let's clarify. We'll start with... This world energy because it's the overall energy for the whole reading. Spirit clarity, please. Guidance for Aquarius. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. Tell me about the world. What do we need to know about this world energy? The Ten of Swords. So it's connected to this Ten of Swords here. There was already an ending. What's this? And the tower. Are you freaking kidding me? Wow, Aquarius. This is no joke. Something happened here that was terrible in this connection. A very difficult ending. A very difficult tower. It could have been a, a separation. A complete divide between you. Can I get one more for the world? 
this could have happened in the distant past or in the near in the recent past if i could speak <laughs> tell me about the world the five of swords oh yeah i think one of you in this connection really hurt the other person i'm saying one of you because i don't know which one it is this is mutual energy here both of your energies are in this in this um spread right here but i feel like there could have been deception someone did not play fair someone played dirty someone uh didn't want to lose and i think that caused this separation what's this six of pentacles i feel like someone's thinking about resolving this giving back to this uh situation this connection tell me about the ten of swords why is the ten of swords here that is way too many why is the Ten of Swords here, Spirit? What do we need to know about the Ten of Swords? The Nine of Pentacles. So someone is free, independent of whatever happened here. Single, perhaps. Focusing on themselves. Taking care of themselves. Ace of Swords. I think that you are doing very well, Aquarius, or have focused on yourself since whatever happened. And I think that's why this person is going to reach out. I think they see you doing well. I think they see you um, as someone that maybe they mistreated and shouldn't have mistreated, right? Tell me about the King of Swords. What do we need to know about the King of Swords? Six of Cups. Someone is still thinking about the past. That's why that thoughts card was there. And I think it's the person that, um, this person, the person you're dealing with. Tell me about the King of Swords. Yep, Knight of Cups. This person, I feel they're going to apologize for the past. And there's the Ace of Cups with the hope of reconnecting. They might just tell you, hey, I, I'm i really sorry, I was wrong. I feel like we had something very special, I ruined it. I would like to, I want you back, basically. That's kind of what I'm seeing there. Let's jump into your uh, energies here. Aquarius, I have you on the left and your person on the right. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. If you find that this does resonate, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment if you'd like to share as well. I love hearing from you guys. All right, Aquarius, what are your energies when it comes to this connection to this other individual? What are your energies? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You know what I'm getting here? I'm getting that you kind of are in a situation where it, it, it's like maybe things happened for a reason. Maybe you believe there's a reason or purpose to everything that's happened with this person. Some of you could be thinking, you know, divine timing, timing, things didn't work out. I've been focusing on my spiritual life, you know, trying to improve or um, accept, come to an acceptance over what happened. Put this here because I have no room. <laughs> Tell me about this other person. What are their energies towards this connection towards Aquarius? What are their energies? I keep wanting to say Aries and I don't know why. Give your relationship a chance. Yeah, this person, they definitely want to work on this again. They would like you to give them a chance and their separation at the bottom of the deck definitely they would love to try this again it's a very clear reading so far and judgment is on your side with the six of wands so i feel like this person might be calling you uh asking to revive this tell me about judgment Why is judgment here? Ten of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like someone wants to work on this with you. 
I'm also getting like they just want to talk about moving on from what happened. And there's the Nine of Swords. I don't think you're um I don't think you're very um open to this with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands. I think in your mind it would take a lot of work. There's judgment again at the bottom of the deck. It would take a lot of work. Um, perhaps you just don't know if this is the right decision for you. Tell me about the Six of Wands. This person could also be telling you, hey, I've been having a really bad, hard time. I've been having a really hard time since what happened. I can't sleep. I can't think about anything else but this connection. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Nine of Cups, Eight of Swords. Okay, so some of you I'm getting would love to try again. But you're just afraid of being hurt again. Others of you, I'm getting that this person is going to really try to sell you on the success of this. It will be different this time. Uh, give me a chance. I will prove to you that I'm serious about you, about this connection. They're really optimistic. This is their wish granted to be with you, but you are more like unsure, uncertain. Let me know if that resonates for you in the comments, but... I feel like when they do come forward, and they will, because they have a nice big ace of swords over there that has shown up twice. This is communication. This is let's talk. I feel like for some of you, this is a phone call. Like I, I'm literally picturing someone on the phone. So it could be that someone hits you up on your phone. But I think what's important is what they're going to tell you, right? What's this ace of swords about? Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to tell you that they haven't been doing well. I feel like I'm missing something in my life. I feel like I've been struggling ever since whatever happened. This person has not been uh, doing well since your separation. There's the Sun. Strength. Leo energy. Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. They ruined something with a lot of potential, I feel. If they were married to you, that must have been even worse. But I feel like they're going to tell you about all of their regrets. Yeah, Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That they regret letting go of the one thing that made them happy. That they regret hurting you because it was a big loss for them. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength, please. The world. Yep. Tell me about strength. Now, strength is about going with the flow, letting things unfold in a natural way, not forcing things, um, using a different method, a different approach to a problem, using your inner strength rather than your physical strength. Tell me about strength. The Emperor, Aries energy. Can I get one more? So I feel like this person, really, they're having a really hard time letting go. Yeah. I think this person, they realize that the longer they're not with you, the longer this separation continues, the worse their prospects become, or the worse, like, it's like the, the window of opportunity closes. I think they're going to be very persistent. This person's going to be very persistent because the emperor with strength, I think of someone that tries to not be controlling, but fails. They can't help it. They really want to affect or influence the outcome because they're so worried about things not working out that they can't help but try to control the situation. So I think that this is someone that might be very persistent. They might not really take no for an answer in the beginning. If you do decide to say no, um, they're going to be very, I feel, I, I really do think that this person is coming to you um, very honestly. I don't think that they're going to be 
you know, embellishing their pain and their difficulty. I think it's real. The Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords tells me that it's going to be very blunt, very to the point, very direct, honest message from them. They're going to tell you the truth. Now it's up to you what you want to do with that truth, right? If you care about it, if you want to give this another chance. Um, but I feel like this person, they hate that. I, I don't think they do well with the fact that they might have caused a tower here. They might have caused a difficult ending and they have no one to blame but themselves. And now if you decide not to be with them, they can't blame you for that either. At least <laughs> it's, it's all their fault to, the, to an extent. Of course, I don't feel like, you know, in every relationship, there's only one person at fault. But I do feel that in this case, one of you caused this ending. And I feel for a lot of you, it's this other person. Let me get some more insight into how Aquarius and this person are thinking about each other, feeling towards each other. Tell me about Aquarius. What is Aquarius thinking, feeling about this other person? What are they thinking, feeling? I regret what happened. This could be what they're telling you. This could be what you're telling this person. Bottom of the deck, you make me happy. I do feel this is your person speaking, but take it as it resonates. Okay, tell me about this person that Aquarius is thinking about or connecting with what are their feelings energies towards aquarius what are their feelings energies towards aquarius we need to talk oh yeah definitely that's that ace of swords can I get one more for this individual what are their energies towards aquarius at this time spirit i want a second chance very clear energy What's at the bottom of the deck? I see forever with you. Yeah, they ruined something that had potential for forever, I feel. I feel like that's the tragedy. It, like, this was very tragic. Whatever happened between you and this person, it, it was extremely painful. But I also get this energy of it didn't have to happen. It shouldn't have happened because I feel like it's really hard to come back from something so devastating. Um, but this person's going to try Aquarius and let me know in the comments if you'd be open to giving this relationship another chance. Um, because I feel like this person, that's exactly what they're going to tell you. I've been struggling, not doing well with what's happened. Will you give me another chance? So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and you want to keep on top of all the videos that I put out and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.